Hi guys, it's Dana. For this video, I decided to draw my old work I made almost few years ago. This is a cute Japanese girl with grey hairs and blue eyes. I didn't change anything in pose and colors, my main purpose was to check the my render improvement. So I usually start with rough sketch, defining the shape of head and shape of hairs. I also like to add some lines to see the directions of hairs. Then I flip the sketch to check the proportions and add correct lines if I have to. Now I can start drawing the face, adding smaller details like eyes, nose, lips and lashes. I usually keep using transformation tool to change the position of eyes and eyebrows till I like the result. I flip sketch few times after adding new details, so I can be more confident in the final result. It's always better to spend more time for sketching before you start coloring. The final step for sketch is adding mountains and sakura. So finally we are ready to add colors. My favorite brush for it is a hard round brush with slightly soft edges. I always first add the flat colors and create new layer for each. The all base colors are on the place, I start adding shades. I usually go from lighter shades to darker, slowly layering them. Basically, it's all about adding colors and blending. It usually takes me longer than other parts of drawing. My favorite part is adding highlights, it's really enjoyable part for me. At this stage I suddenly realized that contrast between shades and highlights are too high so I used curves to fix it. I really like this tool, I started using it a few months ago, it helped me a lot since then. When I'm almost done with these shades and highlights, I'm adding smaller details. I like to use sketch brush for it. Through all the process, I'm adding more shades and highlights. Now we are moving to hairs. Many of you are asking me about drawing hairs in direct. I think it all depends on hairs and your style. My personal suggestion is to make the base color not too dark and not too light. Then you can add darker colors first and lighter colors after. To make the hairs look more natural, you can add single hairs here and there. For the sprig of sakura, I used another sketching brush and glaze brush for flowers. 
To be honest, I am not used to draw flowers, but I want to do it more in the future drawings. I always admire works with so many details and plants on the background. For the flower pattern on her kimono, I used another brush, so it took me only a few minutes to finish it. Then I added some glaze to her eyes and nose and I suddenly realized that her eyes doesn't look Asian and I decided to make the shades under eyebrow lighter and replace the eyebrow a little bit upper. At the end I added a famous Mount Fuji and some snowflakes. I think I'm really happy with the result and it was fun to analyze my old work and see my mistakes. It's definitely a useful challenge to improve your skills. And thank you for watching guys!